All right, you're about to start a quick 10 minute workout that I pulled for you from the fitness app. Now, remember, there are free seven minute daily workouts. You just download the app, you don't need to sign up. You get a free daily workout, seven minutes long, little micro blast that you can do any place, anytime, anywhere, no equipment needed. And if you wanna check out the other features that the app has to offer, there's a free trial. So you can check out the meal plans, all the different trainers, all the different workouts. There's meditation on there, there's sleep support, community, of course. I'm there, I mean, make that better. So the link is uh, in the comments. Try it if so inclined and enjoy this workout. Okay team, Jillian here, and I will be your trainer for my low impact shred workout program. This is day one. So let me tell you a little bit about this program and how it works. Low Impact Shred is a super effective 30-day fitness program designed to help you achieve all your strength, fitness, or weight loss goals without impact training. It's a great program for anybody working around a lower body injury or if you're exercising in an environment where you're trying to keep the noise down. You're going to train five times a week using body weight training, free weight training, and HIIT training, all designed to strengthen, condition, and tone with zero impact. So let's get started with today's workout. Do your best, that's all I ask. Before we do anything too intense, we have to prepare the body for work with a warm up. Now, march in place. If you got more, you can pick up the pace. This is a great move because there's no impact, but it really gets the heart rate up. upper body simultaneously with the lower body. Keeping your neck loose and relaxed. As you bend your knees and squat down, you're opening up the chest. As you press those legs back up to the start position, you're opening up the upper back. Hit me with some forward arm circles. Now's the time to really center yourself, focus your intention, and get ready to work. Remember to focus on your breathing to oxygenate the muscles. Think about what you're going to work today. Focus on the muscles you're going to train. Here we go. Alternating diagonal toe tap. Really open up the chest at the top of the exercise. Don't bend the knees. Stretch that hamstring and then come up for a big chest stretch and repeat on the opposite side. Keep your back flat. Okay, alternating punches. The harder you work right now, the faster your body's gonna change. Don't swat, don't slap, punch. Twist through those obliques. Give me a nice, good pace and rhythm. All right, hip circles, let's stretch it out. Thrust those hips forward. Pull through the hip flexors and the psoas muscles. Give me a big circular motion. Change direction. Warm 
warming up the core, getting the body ready to work. Okay, y'all warmed up? Let's get moving. Okay, low row. Keep your shoulder blades adducted or pulled in towards your spine. Don't let the dumbbells pull your shoulders out of their contracted position. With the low row, make sure that the palms are rotated forward and that you're pulling the weight up towards your belly button, not your chest. All right, medium rows. As you drop the weights down to the bottom position of the row, do not release the shoulder blades or round your shoulders forward. Palms should be facing each other, keeping the elbows in, dragging that weight up towards the chest. On the medium row, the elbows should stay tight and drawn in towards the body, not out. Time for plank with knee thrust. Don't allow your lower back to sag. Keep your booty down. I don't want to see that bum up in the air. Work those abs. In plank, always keep the tailbone tucked, belly button pulled in. Here we go, dynamic dolphin in ab hold. Engage the core. Exhale. Don't allow your lower back to sag. Coming up, alternating leg press in bear. Make sure that your palms are flat and directly underneath the shoulders. Leg press in bear challenges the hell out of your balance and your stability. Make sure whenever you're in bear, your spine is neutral. In bear position, I want you to keep your torso parallel to the ground. Let's do Superman. Squeeze your glutes as tight as you can. Look down the bridge of your nose. just do crunches to get a nice, strong, lean midsection. We have to do all of these core-based functional moves in order to make that happen. Of course, you've got to be eating clean as well. Let's do single leg pelvic thrust, right leg. Squeeze your glutes as you raise your body back up to a bridge position. Single leg pelvic thrust is too hard. Put both feet down on the ground. Make sure to keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. And now, single leg pelvic thrust, left leg. Don't allow your knees to open. Engage your inner thighs, pull your knees together while you raise your hips up towards the ceiling. Move 
Moving on to alternating forward lunge with bicep curls. Make sure to keep your feet hip width apart. Remember to curl as you're lowering the body down towards the ground. Squeeze those biceps nice and strong at that midpoint position. Okay, squat with bicep curls. about squatting back and down like you're sitting on a bench okay with your chest up eyes forward remember that at the top of every single exercise you want to really squeeze your glutes and get that little extra contraction at the top really think about the muscles that you're training make that mind-body connection Okay, alternating side lunge with hammer curl. As you're lowering into the lunge, you're curling the weights up. Elbows back behind the body. Tailbone tucked, belly button in towards the spine. Palms are facing in towards the body, holding the dumbbells in each hand. Now, stiff leg deadlift to hammer curl. A stiff leg deadlift means that you have a soft bend in the knee, meaning ever so slightly bent, and you don't change the angle of the legs throughout the entire movement. Make sure as you come upright from the deadlift that your elbows are behind the body for your hammer curl. Okay, bridge with a lat pull. Hold that bridge contraction and from there perform your lat pull. Pull the dumbbell up and forward until it's directly above your chest. Don't cheat in bridge now, drive those hips up. I want a straight line from your knees all the way down through your spine to your shoulders. Now, double crunch. Don't pull on your neck. Keep your chin off your chest. With every crunch, do a full exhalation for the deepest contraction possible. Eyes on the ceiling. This move is really challenging because we're engaging upper and lower abdominals at the same time. Next up, squirm crunch. Slow down and squeeze. Now, Hollow Man Hold. Heels and shoulders are several inches off the ground. Keep your chin off your chest. Your abs should be absolutely on fire right now. I should see flames coming out of your belly button. Low rows, here we go.
The low row is a great variation for not just hitting your lower back, but also your biceps. Here we go, medium rows. Okay, plank with knee thrusts. Don't allow your hips to come up in this position. Keep your body tucked and bring your knee under nice and tight towards your chest. Work those abs. Here we go, dynamic dolphin in ab hold. Engage your core. Now, alternating leg press in bear. I love this exercise because it's conditioning your core, chest, shoulders, triceps, and glutes. In bear, try to keep your knees about an inch off of the ground. This way you really engage your core. All right, Superman time. Lift off of the floor. To make Superman easier, simply raise the opposite arm and the opposite foot at the same time. Don't bring tension to your neck. Doing your Superman, make sure that your shoulder blades are back and down. Don't engage your traps. Let's do single leg pelvic thrust, right leg. Next up, single leg pelvic thrust, left leg. Moving on to alternating forward lunge with bicep curls. Palms face up as you curl. Don't go above three quarters. 
keep the elbows back. Curl three quarters of the way up and squeeze at the top. Make sure those feet stay hip width apart. You're gonna curl those weights up as you lower into the lunge. Okay, squat with bicep curls. The more narrow your foot position is, the harder the squat is going to be. Pull the belly button into the spine. Curl those weights as you're dropping back into the squat, palms up. Okay, alternating side lunge, hammer curl. Keep that tailbone tucked, belly button pulled in. As you step out to the side, drop your booty back and down while simultaneously curling those weights three quarters of the way up. Make sure to keep your palms facing in throughout the entire movement. Make sure that knee is right over the ankle. Now, stiff leg deadlift to hammer curl. The range of motion for your stiff leg deadlift is limited to your level of flexibility. If you start to feel a pull and your back is rounding, don't go so deep into the movement. Sink down deep into that deadlift with your back flat. Return to that upright position to track the abs and the glutes, then do your hammer curl. Okay, bridge with a lap pull. In bridge, keep your heels close to your glutes. Your ankle should be directly underneath your knees. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling and your wrists do not rotate throughout the entire lap pull. Focus on pulling the dumbbell up forward through your lats. Now, double crunch. Keep your chin off your chest. Exhale with every crunch. I want you to visualize your abs contracting. Eyes on the sky. Think about driving your belly button into the floor while curling your lower body and your upper body off the ground. Next up, from crunch. your chest. Hollow out your torso, pressing your low back into the floor. If you need to modify your hollow man, you can lower your upper body and place your hands under your back. Keep your heels and your shoulders off the ground. You made it to the cool down. Great job today. Enjoy this. Okay, standing bicep stretch, left arm. Pressing your bicep up towards the ceiling. 
ensure that extended arm is as straight as possible. Okay, standing bicep stretch, right arm. Standing hamstring stretch, left side. Keeping your neck relaxed, you should feel this stretch all the way along the back of your leg through the hamstring. Release all the tension in your upper body as you bring your chest down towards your thigh. All right, standing hamstring stretch, right leg. Okay, standing low back stretch. Together, as long as you're consistent. Great job today. See you tomorrow.